hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new lightroom tutorial and today i'll show you a preset which i made it for you guys and i'll just show you what i set up and the settings and other stuffs i used for the preset so going to the develop options and anyway if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i made a preset which is the cinematic 2 and i just applied this one what i have done in this photo let's see the before one and after one press now y from the keyboard you are getting the difference between the before and after the before one i use as uh, stock image and i made a preset for you guys and here i got the result like that so before that is the natural tone and everything but uh, we do love to use or like show to the audience which is the cinematic and this is the trendy one you know that and already many requests i got from the audience that make some preset which is cinematic and earlier i already made some preset but uh, the cinematic preset i made the less than the other preset so no more talk just going to the work here uh, let's see what i have used over here press y you are getting the applied preset over there okay let's see what i have used over there everything i should collapse or i should lock it up okay now from the basic panel let's see what i have used over here here the exposure that is zero zero but contrast i made it 23 because of in this type of photo you need some contrast because uh, the model is natural tone we just show over there okay but in this portion in a cinematic mode the main thing is the contrast you need to add some contrast for the cinematic vibes that's why i made this one plus 23 and the highlight down because of if i made this one uh, too much highlighted uh, it will be overexposed that's why I made this one like minus 91 percent if i made it zero let's see if i made it zero it will be overexposed and the over highlighted which is not expected okay the shadow shadow is the moderated version and that's why i use this one like plus 30 percent and we need shadow in a, in a like cinematic tone and if i made it zero what will be uh, the shadow if i made it so this one is like that but if i add some the shadow plus value 30 degree or 30 it will provide us uh, the main thing which is really good okay let's see the white white i made it uh, minus 100 percent just because of i don't need the white if i add some white it will be overexposed so after that the blacks i made it plus 30 so this shadow and black which is really related with each other that's why i made this one 30 and plus 30 okay here i made the uh, vibrance zero and texture all the things dehaze if you need you can add but i didn't use that and the saturation minus just because of if i made it saturated it will be oranges which is not the color tone of a cinematic and which is odd color okay let's going to the tone curve so here i made the black uh, or like rgb tone curve whatever here i used the r and g and b already here i used so here the 0 by 60 here if i 63 by 69 here 112 by 114 and here 170 by 167 here 231 by 240 and here 255 by 209 let's go to the red options lots of things over there you can just you can just um, uh, analyze this one i won't explain this one because of those are boring okay after that hsl most important part because of hue saturation luminance which is the basic of uh, tone things that means if you uh, just uh, sit for the editing you have to know 
what is hue what is saturation and what is luminance hue which color do you want in your photo and the saturation uh, percentage of the color and the luminance which is intensity of the color so hue here is red orange yellow green aqua blue purple magenta all the colors but if you change the value you are getting the same thing if you made it all zero it will be the natural tone which is uh, natural but here we sit for the cinematic tone that's the gimmick one here i use the red plus value and you know, which is the plus 20 orange plus 5 the yellow i didn't use the yellow value because of yellow i need the natural yellow and here the green i made the plus value because of this green is nice and the natural green i want to make it little bit of like a plus value so that is the deep green and aqua i made it minus 100 and the blue minus 26 because of here the blue color uh, by eye color so i wanted the eye color popped up according to this that's why i made it minus 26 and it's just related with the aqua color and here the purple plus 15 and the magenta plus 25 okay let's go to the saturation percentage of the color i made the red saturation plus 5 and the orange saturation that is minus 27 that's why you are getting these type of things if i made it zero uh, this one it will be oranges so it shouldn't use i shouldn't use the uh, like zero type okay that's good and if i press over there okay that's good and the value which is the yellow value minus 73 and green value minus 30 and aqua value minus 40 and blue plus 31 because of these eyes and here the purple minus 25 and the magenta minus 30 so most of the thing you are looking here the minus value just because of i made it like a little bit of moody but cinematic and uh, really cool things which is uh, for eye soothing colors okay luminance luminance uh, which is the intensity and i made this one plus value because of eye soothing plus the clearness but uh, like not dim type i made it like vibrant or like uh, lighty type so that's one here i red used here plus 17 orange plus 47 yellow plus 25 green minus 8 uh, the, just because of the green green tone down i want to that okay here plus 26 and the blue plus 48 that's good and let's go to the color grading the most important another most important thing because of what color will be in the shadow what color will be in a mid-tone and what color in a highlight it depends on this so i used the zero value because of i don't want to just i made these things in this portion i didn't just color grade over there in this portion so you can use the hsl panel or you can use the color grading or you can use the both things but i in this case use the like uh, hsl panels okay that's good and the detailings here some uh, sharpening noise reduction if you want you can use the noise reduction but i just use this one just because of grainy which is really uh, related with the cinematic tone that's good and here the noise reduction i didn't use noise reduction color noise if you want you can use but i didn't use that okay over there going to the lens correction here is no lens correction issues and the uh, transform no transform issues and effects here is no effects i used and uh, calibrate or like calibration i use something over there the primary colors over there three primary rgb primary colors over there rgb colors r for the red g for the green and b for the blue and to red hue which is plus 15 and the saturation minus 5 uh, saturation you know percentage of the color i made it a little bit of minus value and the green primary plus 25 and blue primary minus 50 and like i just got this okay the previous one you know that already this one the natural one but cinematic tone you are getting over there and if you want this preset please check out my video description uh, provided the link over there so that's all for today if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon hope that you like this one 
and already shared with your friend until the next video is a money signing out today stay safe stay healthy if you have any kind of question query please do comment on my video comment section until the next video bye bye